guys and welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be showing you guys how to do a 360 frontal install so i went on to use my butterfly shadow spray and my dryer to tame down her edges so we're going to go ahead and then stitch or rather weave the left over hairs behind and then afterwards i'm going to get my got to be gel and the spray and then use it to tame the hair into everything just as seen in the video so you guys i like to do this because i really don't like to damage anybody's hair when i am putting adhesive on the person's skin so i went on to stretch the wig cap so then afterwards i'm going to open it just as seen here in the video and then do the same for her eye area so she'll be able to see or go through her phone while we're doing this so we want a situation whereby we're working and the client is really relaxed so i went on to use my butterfly shadow spray on the bald cap and then afterwards i went on to use my hand dryer to dry i also have a full detailed video on how to do bald cap which i'm going to leave up there so you guys go watch it and learn how to do a bald cap so this video is proudly sponsored by love beauty hair products and all the products we're going to be using for today's install is from love beauty so you guys go check them out they have some really amazing stuff i have done a couple of unboxing here for them on my channel and also on instagram so i've tried out some of their products and they're really nice so you guys go check them out and don't forget to let them know you're from me i went on to put the glue on the neck area just as seen here in this video and this is me trying to spread it i like to spread first and i like clear on its own because i don't want a situation whereby we start having like white casts all over so I went after that, I went on to do for the one in front. So you guys have seen a couple of videos of me doing a frontal installation. So, but I really wanted to show you guys like a full detailed 360 and a widow's peak installation here in today's video. So if you're watching this video, count yourself as a very lucky person cause you're getting a full package for free. So you guys, um, for today's video, I am doing three applications for both the one in front and the one behind. So we want a very firm grip on both sides. So I like to spread the glue into the bolt cap. So this gives a very firm grip when you're done installing. So if you do like a very wild application, like from the skin into the bolt cap, trust me, it's going to help the frontal stay down for long so i went on to put the glue on her ear area and then spread it so as soon as it clears we're going to get the frontal and then place it remember guys in some of my videos i like to open the frontal from the middle so um i like to place that in the middle of her face so once i place the frontal i'm going to get my control pin and then use it to secure that part while i work on the side so i really don't like to rush my installations because i want to get a flawless result so i like to take my time to focus on one part and once i'm done with this part i'm going to head on to the other side so if you're still watching this video up until now and you're yet to subscribe to my channel what are you waiting for please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you'll always be the first to know whenever i post a video trust me guys i have a lot of amazing videos here that can help you up your game so go check those videos out and i have so many interesting fun videos that can actually cheer you up so you guys so um once i'm done placing the other side i'm going to head on to do the same for the one behind so when i'm placing the one behind i like to make sure every strands of the hair is not in my way because if there's any any strands and i put the lace it's going to start lifting from there because it's going to give space for air to like come in between the glue and the lace so i like to you know stretch it backward and um wh when i'm placing i like to use my rattle comb to like press down so by the way the strings that came with the the wick cap that's the elastic i took it out 
because um, I want a situation whereby that part will be flat. Because if you're installing a 360 frontal and the band is there, trust me, it's not going to sit properly. So the, the idea for 360 is to actually make it look like the person's head. So I mean, if it's not looking like it's coming out of the person's car, why are you doing the installation? So once I'm done placing the one behind, I'm going to go ahead and use my elastic band to like tie down so it can press into the frontal before I start doing anything. So this is what we look like, taking out the band. So I'm going to start um, taking out the lace. So first I like to cut out this ear area like this. And then I'm going to carefully dig deep into the frontal and then sculpt her hairline to make sure it looks really natural. So you guys, it's time to cut out the lace from the one behind. So I'm going to carefully take up every hair that is dropping because I wouldn't want a situation whereby I am distracted by so many hairs when I'm trying to cut out the lace. So um, there's something I'm going to do here. I advise you guys to also use this method when you are cutting out the lace. 
So try not to dig into the one from behind. So what I'm trying to do now is I'm just cutting it directly from where the hair started from. Then afterwards, I'm going to put glue on the skin and then pull the lace backwards so it can sit on the area where we have the glue. So with this, there won't be a lot of pressure on that area because if there's a lot of pressure, trust me, as soon as you're trying to style this hair, it's going to fall off. So I went on to put some glue on that area and then allowed it to clear. So while we're waiting for it to clear, we're going to now head to the one in front and then cut out the lace. So there's something I like to do when I am cutting out a lace. I like to customize also on the person's head so it can look realistic like it's growing out of the person's skin. Okay, so now we're going to cut out the lace. So like I always do, I like to focus on one side. So you guys, um, let's just pay attention to the way I'm going to cut this one out. So in front of installation, there are some steps you are supposed to take when doing an installation. So I have a very detailed video on how to you know achieve a flawless frontal installation so in that video i talked about five secrets that is going to help you achieve a flawless frontal installation so i'm going to leave that video up here so you guys go check that video out and trust me your frontal game is never going to remain the same So um, to create a widow speed, I like to cut out both ends first before I now focus on the one in the middle. And when I'm installing the frontal for a client or anybody, what I do on the left side, I like to give the same pattern and technique to the right side so it can look even. We just want it to look you know, as natural as possible. So after cutting this area, we're going to head on to the middle part and then do the widow speak. So to create a widow speak, what I like to do first is I do a middle part. So this helps to like keep me in track so that I don't give um, to the left so much than what I'm going to give to the right. So I try to make sure the middle part is well accentuated so that um, when I'm cutting, it's going to look the same. So I'm going to take out some hairs from there and not touch the one in the middle. Um, before I head on to the other side, I like to use my rattle comb to measure so that everything is even. So once I am done bringing out this hairs in front, I'm going to get my tweezer and then Clock it a little. So, if you don't want to use a control pin to hold this or a bobby pin, I advise you use um, the twist method. So, just twist the hair down. So, um, I'm going to just section a little from that area so I don't really apply so much pressure when I am plucking the hair. Just put it in mind um, when you're tweezing for the front, try to be light handed so you don't rip the lace one and you don't board the hair. So once I'm done cutting this side, I'm going to head on to the other side. And after that, I'm going to get my glue and then fill in those areas that didn't really get glue.
Okay, so guys, I'm going to take you back to the back. Remember, we put the glue and waited for some time for it to clear. So now we're going to press it down. So there's something I always do when it comes to product application. I like to do like small amounts and then build up till I get what I want. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. So this is me using a needle to put more glue on the area that didn't get glue. So once I am done, I don't just go direct and press. I allow it clear. Before that, I'm going to get a hand dryer and then blow it out in low heat. Remember guys, low heat, it works perfectly. So as soon as I am done with this, I'm going to head on to the one in front and then fill in those areas that didn't get glue. So once I'm done, I'm going to tie it down and then we're going to head on to the melt spray application. So before we tie down, I like to take out a little hair. So um, we're looking at achieving a very clean, but still, um, I really don't know the word to use, but we just want it to look so casual behind. So we don't want so much drama there, but in as much as we want it to look casual, we still want it to be clean. So in order to achieve this, you're going to bring out small hairs, just like I'm doing in the video. Make sure it's really tiny. So I'm going to show you guys how to like prep that one and make it stay long and curly on that area. So once we're done tying, I'm going to get my wax stick and then use it. So by the way, this wax stick is from Love Beauty. And whenever I use this wax stick, I feel like I want to eat it because it smells really nice. So once I'm done with the application, I'm going to go ahead and use my hot comb. And this hot comb is the Andes hot comb. This is my forever favorite hot comb. So before we use the melt spray, I'm going to cross check and see if there are other parts that didn't really get glue. So and we're going to head to the melt spray application. So to tame down the hair first, we're going to be using the melt spray on the brush. So then afterwards, I'm going to tie it down and ask my clients to do to help me press down the both ends then i'm going to lift the hairs and then tie the band 
directly on top of the area behind where we glued down. So I'm going to be applying the melt spray on the one behind and then afterwards I'm going to tie the band on it. So while we, while we have the band on the hair, I'm going to get my hot comb and make sure the hair is all smooth and clean. Then I'm going to get two rubber bands and two bobby pins because that's what we're going to be using to style the hair. So because I want it really flat, I am going to get the melt spray and then spray like that. And once I'm done, I'm going to use my rat tail comb to like push in all the hair. So we want to really tame down. So then afterwards, I'm going to get another band and then tie it on it. So you guys, my band is not too tight because I am using the one with the strap. So. My client is not going to have a headache while we're doing this, so don't bother asking. So this is what the rubber band and the bobby pin looks like and then I'm going to ask my assistant to help me hold the hair and then I'm going to just run it like this as if we're tying um, the hair for a bridal updo. So once I'm done with this, I'm going to take out a little hair and then use it to cover my track. So then after that, I'm going to get my hand dryer and then, then use it to mold the hair so we don't have any flyaways running around everywhere. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to get my got to be gel applied on that part and then spray, then use my edge control brush to make sure it's smooth and clean. And then I'm going to use my hand dryer. Then afterwards, I'm going to take out the band and then trim out the hairs we left out initially. So then I'm going to get my argan oil and then apply it before I now use my straightener to curve it. And that's it for today's video. I hope it was really insightful and you guys really enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're yet to. And also don't forget to give this video a very big thumbs up. Like my other videos, watch them. Share them with your friends because you know, like I always say, sharing is caring. And also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll always be notified whenever I post a video. So is there anything you want to see here on my channel? Don't forget to leave it in the comments below and I promise you guys I'm going to come through. So I love you all to the moon and back and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.